people vivo <laughs> ah, how are you <laughs> oh, i trust that you are well yo as you can tell i am well <laughs> Very had a good week. Um, eight sun shining, people. Sun is shining finally. Um, hopefully, we're over the worst of our winter and we'll have more sunny days. I'm excited for this time of the year. It makes you want to spring clean, start doing things, some jobs you don't want to do. At the minute the sun comes out, I see all the cobwebs in our house in the corners hanging off the lights. <laughs> Winter darkness can't hide them anymore. Yo, anyways, that's not my topic for today. <laughs> my topic for today is peer pressure. Peer pressure. And I I don't know what made me think of this this week, but then I thought, when was the first time I remember experiencing peer pressure? Do you remember the first time? What was it? Where were you? What age were you? <laughs> age were you but uh, mine the memory that came into my head straight away immediately was um we used to run for the school um and we were in high school at this point and um i used to run for thorny high school right part of the athletics team you know it was quite fast back in the day let me tell you <laughs> now but back in the day i could sprint man i could sprint us we'll have we'll have to have a topic about that another time all the wonderful things that i achieved at school um regarding athletics swimming all those type of things anyways so i was part of the athletics team and this particular time the school was traveling to masvingo and we all got jumped on a bus went to masvingo spent the day running but because it was a like a big athletics meeting we spent the night in the hostel at the particular school that we'd gone to in Masvinga. anyways all there the teachers were clearly sleeping in a different part of the hostel the girls with only girls anyways but in the girls hostel there we were all these girls <clears throat> sleeping in the dormitory once the teachers had gone and supposedly switched off the lights the lights came back on <laughs> The lights came back on and we were all up talking, talking, talking. Next thing, a group of girls decided that we were all going to go to the bathroom. So off I twiddled also, just following, you know, like I said, peer pressure. Off we twiddled to the bathroom. All of us in the bathroom, the girls' showers with a massive big group of girls, right? Next thing, yo, people brought out cigarettes. Yo! brought our cigarettes right we were all in this in this bathroom somebody lit it up opened the windows and they started smoking right so me now i started panicking because i knew that at some point that cigarette was coming round to me right and i didn't want to smoke the cigarette i promise man i promise i didn't want to smoke the cigarette but right i could see the cigarette coming around and as the cigarette was going round, I could hear my mother's voice in my head. If I catch you smoking. <laughs> I knew I'd be in big, big trouble, right? I could hear my mother's voice and the cigarette was coming round. Closer and closer, the cigarette got to me. I remember my mama heart pounding, pounding, boom, 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 boom. I was petrified of the cigarette, not because of the cigarette, but petrified because I could hear what my mother had said about smoking. Don't you smoke? If I catch you smoking, Mary, make sure you don't smoke. Do you hear me? If I catch you people smoking, my I, that's all I could hear in my head was my mother's voice. <laughs> but at the same time, I didn't want to be that girl who said no to smoking when everybody else was smoking, right? The cigarette came closer and closer and closer. <laughs> and so finally, I couldn't avoid that cigarette. <laughs> and it came and it landed on me. I took a puff. Oh, 
I don't know if you call a puff, but I, I took the cigarette, put it to my mouth, inhaled, and I coughed and coughed and coughed and coughed. <laughs> on a running team away from home peer pressure people <laughs> peer pressure peer pressure made me put that cigarette to my mouth man <laughs> how i never got home and told my mother i don't know because i felt like i just wanted to confess it to her i just wanted to tell her what had happened and that and i know she was gonna ask me why did you smoke it who forced you? Did somebody force you? Did somebody just did somebody just stick it in your mouth? Who forced you? <laughs> Nobody forced me. <laughs> Nobody forced me, but the pressure was there. The pressure was there. I couldn't run away from it. I couldn't escape it. I couldn't escape that peer pressure. And that and that's the only time that I can honestly say I proper felt like I was in a place where I felt like I, I had no choice or like I felt like because everybody else around me was doing it, I needed to do it. It wasn't a good experience, yo. <laughs> I am not a smoker, yo, by the way, just in case somebody's wondering. No. <laughs> that was it, the one and only time I ever put a cigarette to my lips and I regret it. I don't like it. I just, like I said, just cough through the whole experience. I just cough through the whole experience. <laughs> So yeah, that was my experience on peer pressure. What was yours? Please, in the comments below, people, comment, tell us to also what you experience. Let me know. I love hearing what other people experience in life regarding the topics we discuss on here, i.e. peer pressure this week. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, I better go. <laughs> and hopefully I will not find myself in a peer pressure position again. But, I mean, it's, it's quite difficult, I know, to resist things like that. But, yeah, where you can resist peer pressure, people. So, on that absolutely wonderful note, you know it. <laughs> Don't forget to laugh. <laughs> Do not forget to laugh. Life is way too short not to. Um, And, yeah, I love you all. Take good care of yourselves. 